This is not a full video, just a couple of quick announcements. And to all of my new subscribers, welcome. Firstly, I was on the news again. And secondly, I just found out that I'm starring in a newly released feature-length documentary. As for being on the news again, there was a lot of buzz in Toronto about the man-spreading issue last week. So I was interviewed live on CTV News, and also by a few other print and radio news networks. And I was also talked about by various talking heads on talk radio. In order to somehow add to this fake controversy over so-called manspreading. Please click on the link to watch the three-minute news clip, because I won't play it for you here. It's unfortunate that I had to repeat myself three times near the end of that interview, but my final point wasn't an easy point to make, and it wasn't coming across very well at first. Hopefully I'll be more efficient with my message next time. As for the movie, it just so happens that I have a lot of free time on my hands right now, but I've already seen The Hobbit, so I was looking for another really long movie to watch. It also just so happens that a new movie came out yesterday called a response to Stone on MRA Dysfunction. It was directed by Barbarossa and it's 147 minutes long. He was responding to my video about MGTOW ideology where I basically state why I support the MGTOW way of life and why I don't support the ideological baggage that is associated with it. I have no excuse to miss this movie because it's about yours truly after all. But before I see a new movie, I usually read the reviews first. Not because I use the reviews to decide whether or not I'm going to see a movie. They never actually change my mind. I'm just incurably curious, that's all. And the reviews are coming in already. This review is from one of Barbarossa's prominent detractors. He says that initially, he enjoyed the suspense as he was waiting for Barbarossa to actually make an argument. But unfortunately, he fell asleep after waiting too long. And this review is from one of Barbarossa's biggest fans. He says that this was Barbarossa's best full-length quadruple feature supersized docudrama ever, and that as Barbarossa's biggest fan, nothing pleases him more than to listen to the voice of Barbarossa for two hours and 27 minutes straight. Well, I'm going to have to see this movie, but before I do that, I'm going to have to run out and get some popcorn. I said popcorn. So in the meantime, please click on the link below and watch the interview. And don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the drill.